What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time. Here I am, I'm back, and we're gonna talk today about entries. Okay, now this is something that I've talked about before on my YouTube channel. Now, of course, I can't get too deep into the concepts and you know um specifics on how we take these entries and like you know the deep 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 specifics that we teach in the mentorship right in the mentorship course and that is something that i'm going to talk about as well but like i said i can't get too deep into it but i'm going to show you guys the basic overview on how we get into our trades and kind of like an updated version i would say but it's not really updated it's really the same stuff all right so um so back to what I was talking about, about the mentorship. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to split my Discord server up to where I'm going to have the mentorship course exclusive to those that just paid for the mentorship course. Okay, so for those of you that pay for the mentorship course, you're going to get the mentorship course and also the community as well right but for those of you who do not want to pay for the mentorship course itself you not want to pay that fee for that mentorship course and you really don't need the course and you want to join the community also the reason why i am charging a monthly subscription just to join the community is because i host live calls inside of the community so if that's something you're interested in and you could just literally talk to me on a live call as long as you're in a community those live calls are for the community we host them in the discord itself so you'll be able to see me actually trade and you'll be able to talk to us you'll be able to talk to each other in the community talk to me while we are trading live today's video is actually from one of my instagram supporters right i did a q a on my instagram and i asked you know, what is your biggest struggle in trading? What are you struggling with trading? I've been answering questions like that on my Instagram. You can go and see the posts that I've been answering people's questions. So this question, I had to actually make a video about it. And they talked about how do they, how do I get into lower time frame entries? They're having struggle getting into lower time frame entries. And like I said, I can't really go deep in depth into it, but I can show you an example. I can show you a couple of examples on how we actually facilitate getting into lower time frame. So Starting into it, you guys already know my three keys. I have a whole video on this. Honestly, I had people that watched this three keys video and has started a profitable strategy just from this, right? I've seen it. I've seen a lot of people texting me like, hey, um, you know, I've watched your videos and just from your videos alone, I've became profitable. So you can become profitable without joining the course or anything like that. You just have to put the work in, okay? So going back into it, three keys. Um, we have right here, We'll have my first key, which is structure, second key, which is my point of interest, and third key, which is evidence of buyers and sellers. So I'm going to kind of do a quick rundown on these three keys. Structure, right? Structure is very important. You have to know where you're at. You have to know what the trend is because the trend is your friend, right? I know it's corny. I hear a lot of people talk about it. We know it's corny, but the trend is your friend, guys. So you have to be able to follow the trend, and that's going to be the best way to give your most profitable entries, most profitable trades. So what is the structure here? And right now, we're going to cover NU. Just go on, on NU because it's a it's right here, and there is some entries in here that we can talk about. So we have bearish structure right now. That's all I need to know. All right, we have bearish structure, so I should be looking for sales. And are we inside of a point of interest, right? We are inside of a point of interest. This is a redistribution, and... We have a specific term for this, which we're not going to talk about right now. So we are in the 50%. This is my fib. We're in the 50% of our redistribution that caused a new low. All right, cool. So this is a valid point of interest. And we also have confirmations to confirm our points of interest and things like that. But we're not going to get too deep into that. You know, that's private content. Evidence of buyers or sellers. So simply evidence of buyers or sellers is do we see sellers getting into this area that's our question that's what we need to ask ourselves so once you have your structure you have your point of interest then you can start looking for entries so before you even look for entries you need to know what the trend is and you need to have an area to look for entries simply put i am not looking for entries here i do not go to lower time frame right i can't go on lower time frame unless i'm in a point of interest there's no reason to why because there is a lot of noise here there is a lot of noise that happens in the market. And if we are not inside of an area that sellers was previously in, why am I looking for sales? Why am I looking for buys? So you need to make sure you are in a point of interest. That is the very most important thing. 
And before you can even start looking for a point of interest, you need to make sure you're on the right side of structure. So it all adds upon each other, right? So once you get those two keys down and you know where you're at, you know your point of interest, the market is inside your point of interest, then you can go to lower time frame and start looking for entry. So let's go ahead and cover this a little bit more. What has happened after we tapped into our point of interest? We see we have a high that breaks this low causing our first change of character and then after that we can see we have this lower time frame order flow that's going on so we are in a point of interest here there's a distribution that's up here we make a new low the market goes higher we react off of this initial drive we make a new low we go we go lower right we, we're, we're making new lows after reacting inside this point of interest which is creating change of characters going to the downside which is initially telling us that hey sellers may have already gotten into this market or sellers are already interested in this market because as we're going down we're seeing distros we're seeing distribution so we have a distribution up here and we have a distribution right here so now all i did was draw another point of interest okay because it's the same thing but on a smaller time frame because what is our structure bearish right we have bearish structure um, are we inside of a point of interest? Yes, this is my point of interest right here because this is the last high before making this low, which means this is currently holding our leg to the downside based on this internal quote unquote order flow after reacting off of a bigger point of interest. So you guys can see how we get really deep into these setups and trades. So um, my point of interest is here based off this last drive on this distro. And after that, we made a new low. So this makes my point of interest. And now we go back into evidence of buyers or sellers. So when we're looking for evidence of buyers or sellers, that's when we get into lower time frames. Simply what that means is we're looking for supply to show themselves inside this area. We're looking for sellers to validate that they want to actually get into the market here. How do we do that? We look for distribution. We look for distribution of orders. All right. Distribution of orders is basically sellers saying, hey, um, we are going to start putting in sell orders here and you're going to see that with a distribution. Usually a distribution will look like this and I have covered accumulation and distribution inside of my mentorship and I have actually, you know, hinted it inside the YouTube, right? You, you'll see videos of accumulation and distribution. I think I have explained it on it already, but short overview on that. Um, usually you'll have a distribution that looks like this, right? And simply what distribution is, is it's just sellers, sellers put it placing an order. So you'll have order, drive, order, drive, order, drive, manipulation to get our last orders filled. And we're just filling sell orders. That manipulation is going to be called our UTAD It's called up to us after distribution. And once we get that change of character after that manipulation, we can take an entry mitigating whatever candle was created to cause that manipulation or whatever um, whatever drive it was, right? So that's simply how it looks. And here it is right here. This is how we get on lower time frame. This is what we look for on lower time frame. So um, it is right here. We have two distributions. We have a type four and we also have a type one, right? There's multiple types. We talk about that inside of the mentorship as well. So we have here drive, 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 manipulation, and the market completely sells, creating a change of character, right? When it comes to the type four, we have to break out of trading range. So that initial drive, that huge push to the downside, creating a change of character, that tells us, hey, the market is starting to sell and this is a valid distribution. Once we get that valid distribution, we're able to take limit orders on that distribution. So here's actually another distribution to show you how fractal the market is. We have it right here. We have drive, drive, drive. We need at least three drives, by the way. So kind of help you guys there. Here's our manipulation right there and change of character right here. So honestly, I would have been able to take a short here and you can see the market kind of missed us right here. But look what happens. We go down and we come back to mitigate a specific area. And that area is going to be here. That area is going to be right here. And you can see the market trades directly into the 50%. And before I go to this, I want you guys to notice something else and to show you that what I'm teaching here, the concepts that we're teaching here actually work and they happen in the market. So I'm gonna scoot over and I want you to see what actually happened as we are mitigating this push 
this is a candle on a higher time frame so we can call it an institutional candle order block whatever you want to call it right this utad once we're mitigating this utad look what happens we're actually forming another distribution wow that is like so coincidental right no it's not this is sellers showing themselves in the market this is not a coincidence this is sellers actually proving themselves this is why we look for distribution accumulation right accumulation is the opposite that's when we're looking for buys distribution is where we're looking for sales we're looking for sellers to fill the orders so this is actual proof that sellers are filling their orders we have a distribution the market comes back into this previous distribution and we distribute again fulfilling and fulfilling more orders right this is a good thing, okay? This is this is telling us, hey, you need to sell this market right now, <laughs> okay? So we have our multiple drives, okay? And then we have our manipulation, right? Multiple drives, manipulation. We have our mitigation that happens right here and the market completely sells off. Um, let me get that out of here. Market completely sells off. So this is mainly the criteria I look for when I need to go on lower time frame. So the person that asked the question is, you know, how do we take lower time for inches on a one minute? This is how I do it. All right. This this is what I look for. This is I'm looking for shorts here. This is the criteria I'm looking for. Now, the market did not need to come back up here and create another distro. Right. This distro alone was enough because we're in a point of interest. So just keeping that as like a disclaimer. All right, we did not need to, and this change of character is supposed to be right here. But um, yeah, we did not need this other distribution, this limit order right here, or that entry, that first entry off of that would have still been valid. And after that, you can see the market completely short off. This was just the icing on the cake. All right, um, the market completely shorts off. All right, because sellers has distributed their orders. Okay, so now. We go from being on a one hour time frame to taking one minute entries, as you can see. So this is how we go on lower time frame, right? We need a reason to go on lower time frame. This is how we take lower time frame entries. This is how you're supposed to take lower time frame entries. So we're here on NCAT and NCAT is another example that I'm gonna show you guys real quick before we end this video off. Um, we have bearish structure, bearish structure to the downside. And we're gonna zoom in because we know our trend is bearish. Right here, we have a redistribution right here. This is our initial supply zone. Here is our initial uh, supply zone right here, which is going to be our redistribution. If I can find it, there it is, redistribution. So the market comes into our point of interest, which is here. This is our point of interest. This whole move, that's our point of interest. Now, sometimes we do go down and we scale it we draw our fibs to get a more precise area, but this is our point of interest. This is the last manipulation to the upside, and I'm gonna make this a better color to look at. This is our last manipulation to the upside, taking out Asian liquidity and everything else that's icing on the cake, okay? So I'm gonna actually go back, and we're gonna go back into this move, because right now we're in a one hour time frame. Let's go on a one minute time frame. Let's see what happens on a one minute time frame. So zooming in, going and zooming in into this one minute time frame what do we see here what do we see we see multiple drives multiple drives we see that three drives we see that change of character that happens right here and this is on a very fractal time frame but this is a distribution this is another entry criteria once we break this low that's our change of character this is an opportunity on the one minute time frame what makes us able to get into this trade right here on the one minute time frame because we are in a point of interest right not just a point of interest but this is a redistribution and also inside of this redistribution and i'm getting a little too deep in here but we have accumulations here what that means is accumulation was these people trying to and i actually tried to buy this earlier right we actually took a break even trade on this on um one of our calls but we had multiple accumulations that was showing itself here which all that happened was that means there was buyers 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 and look what supply did we ended up invalidating this so what does that mean that means there's a lot of money here that means there was a lot of money here being traded here because of that this becomes a point of interest it becomes a very valid point of interest which means i do not need this to break this low because first of all we're already bearish and we had a lot of accumulations that was here the market simply invalid that accumulation in order for us to invalidate buyers there needs to be sellers so that means there had to be sellers here 
And if we know that there was previously sellers here, once the market comes back, we can go on that lower time frame to see if sellers are going to show themselves again for us to get an entry. And after showing you guys the entry down, the entry up here and the criteria, you can see the market sold off. So one more pair that I want to talk about today is Eurochef. This is another entry criteria and another thing that follows our rules that we could talk about and we could explain the lower time frame entries, right? So on a higher time frame, this is bearish. So it always goes back. You can see every time it always goes back to what is our structure and where's our point of interest. So we are bearish on a higher time frame. We can see we have our manipulations here. And all these is our supply zone. So simply, this is the last supply zone before we break the slow, right? Which is key for us, all right? That is one of our main points of interest where we talk about inside of our mentorship course. So this being the last, you know, push before we break the slow, you know, we marked out our fibs and we had our 50% and we had our 80% marked out, which is going to be our areas here. And simply put, look what happens. So look what is happening here. We have a bigger schematic, right? We have our multiple drives. We have our manipulation that trades into our precise point of interest. We have our change of character that happens here with a valid momentum to the downside and validating other areas of demand. And look what happens as the market gets back into this area. So something that happened today was here. Um, this is not the cleanest of entries. I would say that right now. I'll give a disclaimer. This is not the cleanest of entries. All right. But what we had was we had this type four distribution that happened here. And essentially, this was our manipulation. This was our change of character. And here's our mitigation. So the mitigation happened at the 50 and the 80 of this whole area. And if you don't know what the 50 and the 80 is, that is our fibs. Okay. 50%, 80%. Okay. So. Here's another mitigation that happened off of this here. And you can see the market came in here, mitigated it. And after that, we had sold off. All right, guys, to wrap up this video, like we talked about before, I will make official announcement on when I'm ready to release that official like um, community section for you guys where you can just join the community without having to, you know, um, pay the extra fees for the course. For those of you that just wants to join the community, just be a part of the community, that's going to be a monthly subscription for that where you could be part of the community. You can get access to my setups, my trades, whatever that I'm looking at for the day. And you'll get access to the community itself and everything that's in there. Also, you'll be able to access the live calls that we're going to have on that. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or any suggestions that you want me to talk about in the next video, please reach out to me on my Instagram or just put some suggestions in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a profitable week, a profitable month, a profitable year. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.